Hello everybody, this is Sarah with the York County Library. Welcome to day 27 of the Daily Drawing Challenge. I am following a daily drawing challenge that is available through Creative Bug. Creative Bug is an online learning service that is available for free to all York County Library card holders. There are links in the description if you're interested in finding out more about Creative Bug. It offers hundreds of tutorials on various subjects in arts and crafts, so if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, check out those links below. Also, if you don't have a library card with us currently, we are offering a temporary e-card, and there are links in the description that can help you get started with that. So today is day 27. We are going to be drawing a still life, um, but we are going to be using pins instead of pencil. You can also use brush markers. It's really going to be an exploration of mark making and shading with pens instead of with pencils. And also within that challenge today, uh, maybe you use a fine tip pen or marker and maybe you use a wider tip pen or a brush pen and see what different kind of marks that you make. In today's video, I do take some time before I start using my brush marker to make different widths of line, different weights of line, where I'm using the pen in an upright position and only applying the tip of the brush pen, I create very thin lines that have a very low weight, they're very light. But then I apply more pressure or use the side of the brush to create marks and I have a heavier line, it has more weight to it. So whatever you choose to use today, I'd say maybe take some time with a blank page and practice mark making. See what different kinds of marks you can make by holding the tool a different way or applying less or more pressure. And just get comfortable with it. I do suggest looking at the video today as she does demonstrate how to create the still life by creating the representational line drawing or contour line drawing or outline of what you're drawing today. I'm going to be sim using similar items to our other still life day and then you're going to be using the mark making to go back into your line drawing to create the shading and the shadows. So take a look at the creative bug uh, video for today. The daily drawing challenge I'm following on there, I forgot to mention it earlier, is called 29 Things to Draw with Molly Hatch and Heather Ross. So I'd pop on over there and look at day 27, and then when you're ready, get your still life out, get your pens, get your markers, your paper, and let's get started with day 27. So this is the still life that I'm going to be drawing. I just have a candle and a cup for my previous still life. So I'm going to start out by drawing a representational line drawing of the candle. So this is just a line drawing or an outline of your object with no shading or shadows. I then drew the cup with a line drawing. I decided to redraw this line on the right side to better represent the cup. And now that I have my line drawings, I am going to start using a series of lines to shade. I am using a fine tip pen right now, so my marks are going to be smaller, and if I want to make them darker, I can put the lines closer together and I can put a lot of lines in a small space and that will create a darker area. Or if I want to keep it light, I can space them further apart and have fewer of them. So I shaded the top first, now I'm going for the sides. I'm really paying attention to the nuances in the shadows. A shadow sometimes is not just a single shade in one area, sometimes it varies. So near the top edge of the candle, where the side meets the top, there was a little lighter area, and I tried to show that by having very light lines. Now I was also able to create light lines by applying just a little bit of pressure with the tip. You may want to change up how you hold 
your pin to see what kind of marks you can get with different pressures. So now I'm just coloring in the shadow. It's usually darker towards the object, closer to the object and in the middle. So I tried to portray that by doing what's called cross hatching. So if you take your lines and then cross them over each other, it can create a darker area and that's called cross hatching. The lines themselves in a series are called hatching. So there's my candle and you can see it's very detailed in the shadow because of those smaller lines. So I'm getting to where I feel pretty comfortable with it and just showing you my thin point. So with this I'm going to be using a Tombow marker that has a brush tip on it. You can see it's pointed but it also has a thicker area. So I'm just practicing some mark making and I'm getting darker and darker and using the side of the marker more as I continue. And I can also vary up the pressure that I apply and that affects the thickness of my line and therefore the weight of it. So I really do recommend practicing with a new tool or ones you already have just to see what kind of new marks you can make. In the video on Creative Bug today, Molly Hatch mentions that using a brush tip is kind of like using a paintbrush. So now I'm applying a line around the rim of the cup to show that there is kind of a shadow there. And then I'm using a series of dark lines to create the shadow on the right side of the cup. And you can notice how I change up how I hold the pin. Right now I'm kind of holding it up so that more of the tip was on there so I could get a thinner mark. trying to make the change in the shades a little more even. During this exercise, I felt like I probably need to practice a little bit with the brush marker in creating shaded spots. I also think that it might be fun to take a lighter color that would darken as you layer it. So for instance, I do have a pastel purple nearby that I could have used. And if I make marks on top of each other, it actually makes the shade of purple a little darker. Now I'm getting the shadow done. You can also notice that with the shadow and the cup and the candle, I am applying lines in the direction of how that object is moving. So around the curve of the cup and also the shadow is laying kind of straight out from the cup, so those are straighter lines. So I've reached a point where I'm pretty satisfied. I don't think I can mess around with it much, so I'm just going to sign off using both of my utensils today. And I kind of got a little fancy. Ta-da! And that was day 27. How did you enjoy drawing your still life today with pens and markers and ink instead of pencils? Did you find it more challenging? Did you find it more fun? Uh, did you like mark making with the new tools that you use today? I really do like drawing with the brush markers, but I think I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more with creating shading with drawings like that, especially with the lines. You can get more detailed with the finer lines and really show the nuances in a shadow. With the brush pen, you have to be a little bit more careful on how you apply pressure if you do want to get a little bit more detail. But it's almost more like painting than it is drawing. Um, so I hope you had a day of discovery using new tools. Of course, you can always try this again with pencils, colored markers, um, colored pencils, uh, crayons would even be fun, or maybe even washi tape. Maybe try to draw with washi tape.
that's a good idea. <laughs> well, anyway, um, we have day 28 tomorrow. Um, and then after that, we have our final day. So not much left in this daily drawing challenge, but I'm having a lot of fun. And I'm actually practicing outside of the daily drawing challenges. So maybe I'll show you some of those on the last day. So until then, friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to stay safe and as always, stay creative, York County.